Hello everybody, Liz here from Blue Ridge Biomechanics. I'm a physical therapist. We're going to go over some more dynamic warm-up. So this one crosses over to mountain bikers, to kayakers, and to equestrian athletes. This one is talking about your neck. So in all of these, we are either sitting or we are in a position where we need to look up. When you do that, you have the kind of movement pattern that wants you to jut your chin forward and kind of close down the space. Now, we talked about in another video a couple weeks back about why we don't want to close down in that area. If you want to, check back at that video and check it out. So, what we want to do is warm up some muscles that help with that movement to not jut your chin forward, but to bring your head back. And what you do is you actually just work on bringing your head back. So, you just Bring your chin down. So not only are you bringing your chin down, you're actually bringing your head backwards. And so you're just doing those light movements. This warms up some of the muscles in the front of your neck that help prevent you from sagging down in this position. So how, when a muscle contracts, it shortens. And so we wanna think about this shortening through here and taking some pressure off of through here. And that's what kicks in some of these big upper trap muscles. It's what tightens up through our neck. It can give us headaches. And so it's really important to warm those muscles up before you're gonna stress them or before you want them to work, right? Makes sense. And so same thing, it's just bringing that head back and thinking about bringing the base of your skull backwards. Hope you understand that and that you know what to do. And this helps warm up those muscles for both mountain biking, kayaking, and equestrian athletes. Give it a try. See how it works. Do it before you go work, before you go exercise, and it'll help you out. Help reduce some of that neck strain, neck pain. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day.